Welcome to the channel. I'm Cindy Daycheck with Queen Bee Creations and we're going to be doing something that's just kind of cute, kind of fun, kind of whimsical. I'm just playing. I'm just playing with this one. So a couple of things that we have to do to get started. Um, first of all, I, I picked pretty much all of the materials from the dollar store. So we need two different sizes of styrofoam balls and I need a styrofoam cone. You could probably do it with something else. That's just what I'm using. And I picked up a bunch of moss from the dollar store as well. So let me at least turn you down so you can see what I'm doing. And this is gonna be super quick. Ooh, I just about scooted the camera right off the end of the thing. All right, so to start with, what I want to do is I want to get my moss, my. My, my balls covered with moss. My moss, moss covered with moss. Not gonna work. Um, so, this is so messy, y'all, but bear with me. Um, I've done this a number of times, and the easiest way that I find is start with the biggest piece of moss that's in the package. And ultimately we're gonna be covering this. So we need the rest. So I have two packages of the moss. And what we're gonna do is just squirt a mess of glue out on this. Now, I, I tend to just use wood glue for this. You could use a white tacky glue. I just, um, I just find that I can't move fast enough to use like the hot glue gun for this, but you could use, uh, you know, other stronger glues if you want. You want to get it close to the edges though, because we're going to be attaching it. And I don't think that there's too much that can go wrong at this stage with the amount of glue that you put on there. Maybe not enough, that could be the only thing. All right, so it feels sort of like it's one of those, um, I should be deep frying that, that waffle batter or something. All right, and then we're just going to pull this up and around my ball. And where you have sections where it kind of overlaps, just pull that off, right? We'll just stick that somewhere else. So don't worry about, as you're kind of crimping it up, if there's sections that aren't going, you just pull that part away. The idea is to get as much on there as possible and you just kind of hold it till it's stuck. And then what we'll do is we'll go back in and we'll kind of take some of those other pieces and start filling in the gaps. So you want to continue with this until you've got two entire balls covered in the moss, right? So you're two different sizes of balls. And I just like you can see that it's starting to stick because it's getting tacky. And I just like to kind of squish it as we go around. So my two balls are done and I'm just gonna have them off to the side drying. And I just tend to kind of you know, once it's all in place, go around and kind of squish them into position. Um, they're still gonna, they're still gonna shed a little, right? So just expect that. Um, the only other thing that I'll, the only other thing that I did want to mention is that when you're pulling the moss out of the bag, and I ended up covering the large ball and the this medium-sized ball with the one bag of moss from the dollar store. I bought two just in case, but one was more than enough. But sometimes you get some really thick pieces of moss because they've got hunks of wood or chunks of dirt on the back. 
pick those off because they're not gonna work for your project, they're not gonna help it, and they're just probably going to interfere with the adhesion of this onto your piece. The next thing, the next gluing that I wanna do is I just wanna take my juke cord, and I just bought this from the dollar store, and I am going to want to entirely cover my um, foam cone here with the jute. So for this, I am going to use my hot glue gun and I don't want ultimately any of the white to show. So you'll see that I am taking it down slightly below the lip just so that when I go to attach this onto my green ball, which is ultimately where it's going, um, it's gonna sit against that moss nice and flush and we won't see any of this foam showing. So, to start it, I am gluing around the entire rim so that none of my cording is going to roll off. We're not gonna see the bottom, but as I start to move up the body of the cone, right, you can tell my hot glue is starting to slowly eat away at my foam a little bit. That's okay, because we won't see it. But once I start rolling it up here, I just have to tack it every so often. So I just want my base to be nice and solid and glued. And then I'm gonna to continue to wind it all the way to the tip so that my cone is completely covered. So I've left it attached to the spool so that I can just ensure that I have more than enough to complete this. So all I'm gonna do is continue on and I'm just gonna be tacking it in place a couple of times around. And I just like to squish it together so that it's nice and tight. And I'm gonna get this done. All right, I have my cone done. So I am ready to assemble. I am ready to put this together. Now, one of the things that I have is a skewer because I'm gonna to want to attach this onto uh, my ball and the easiest way to do that is going to be to put a skewer up in there and then this is going to go into the ball. I can also put some hot glue on there to attach it, but I wanna do that last. I wanna get um, some of the form done here. So what I have done is I've grabbed some sticks from the backyard here at the shop and we're gonna start by, let's see, you may have to, so you may have to just kind of use some scissors to get this started, just because you're going through the moss and your glue and everything like that. So what I want to do is start my hole and put a little bit of glue down in there. Okay, <laughs> it's kind of full. And that'll just help keep everything in place. And the idea here is I wanna stick this into this ball. So in essence, this is gonna be the neck. So I'm not sure how much neck I need, but this one is gonna be able to go down further. Sorry, a little bit of the hot glue leaking out on my hand. I'm pretty proud of the fact that I didn't scream. I'm trying to push it in from the neck rather than here so that I don't shoot that stick out the top. But the styrofoam at some point gets dense, so that's what I'm wondering how far I can push this. Just looking at the neck wise, how much neck I've got. I think I just want a little teeny bit less. Okay. Oh, 
Okay, perfect. There we go. And then I have a stick that we're going to insert up here. I'm just looking at the wear. And that is gonna be its, its leg and ultimately stand. So, think of it like a cockeyed topiary, but here we go with, because he's leaning forward, I put his head on an angle, then ultimately, I want his nose to be on an angle. Awesome, okay. So I'm just gonna put a bunch of glue on this, Stick it back onto the skewer now. And hold it in place. Okay, two more little things. Two more little things and then this is done. Okay, so the next thing, I have some googly eyes. So I got these from the dollar store also. And I got two packs, I mean these humongous ones, which I thought would be too big, but I don't know. So I'm, I'm checking it out. Oh, for heaven's sakes. So I have eyes this size, so let me grab a couple of those. And then let me grab the Gigantico ones. These seem like they were gonna be too big, but I'm kind of thinking that maybe that's the right size. Yeah, it's the big ones. So now we're gonna glue the eyes on. Okay, this is so stinking cute. All right, so I'm just using hot glue for this. And I wanna glue them fairly close to his, his beak. And the only other thing that I had was I had some of this moss and I was contemplating maybe putting some of it on the top of his head like he had a, a crest or something. I mean, it's looking kind of like he has a mohawk hairdo. But you know what? I'm kind of digging it. I'm kind of thinking it's just a little funky and fun. And why not? He's he's whimsical as it is. It's like he's got a little tuft of other feathers up there. So we'll just do that. And then he's done. Okay, okay, he's stinking cute. So the idea with this is that you can stick them into the ground, you could stick them into a potted plant or just a, a planter if you want. All right, he needs a name. He needs a name. Y'all type in a name for him. Um, yeah, just, I told you it'd be for fun. Let me know what you think of this one, guys. Let me know if you're gonna give it a try. I feel compelled to make him a bunch of bird buddies now. And you could do the same thing on a smaller scale with the smaller moss balls. You could give him a whole bird family. I may have to do that. All right, looking forward to seeing you on the next one. Until then, take care.